growing up in New York City, you know, I knew we were poor uh, because there was nine of us in a two-bedroom apartment with bunk beds on each side of the, of the room. I used to go with my siblings to pick up the uh, food, the federal government food, cheese and powdered milk and spam and stuff like that. My personal experiences in growing up in New York City my entire life has helped me to be the type of advocate, the type of fighter that I am today. And that's why I am fighting to try to make sure that the issues and concerns that impact our district, affordable housing, education funding, women's reproductive rights, gun violence, immigration reform, health care, all of these things are very, very important in order to make the lives better for the people that we represent. There's so many things that are not being done that will benefit all of the people, not only of our district, but the entire city and the entire state. Our state senator, Marisol Alcantara, is one of the gang of eight, which we call Trump Democrats or turncoat Democrats. These are eight Democrats that aligned with the Republicans to keep control of the New York State Senate so the major issues that impact the city and the state are not being done. The people of my district, let me tell you what they can expect from me. They can expect someone that's gonna stand up and not be afraid. They can expect that if necessary to fight, that I will fight. If necessary to walk a mile for the people of my district, I will do that. You have to be honest with yourself and honest with the people you represent. Your integrity means people truly believe in you that you will do the right thing for them. And I hope that when I go up to Albany that I will make myself proud, I will make my family proud, and make all of the constituents, not only of the 31st Senatorial District, but all of New York City proud. That's what I hope for.